Hello there, and welcome back to The Rise of Rome on Europa Barbarorum 2. We have started to make inroads into Greece, we have secured Illyria, and we are currently awaiting the green light to, to attack the Macedonian settlements in the north. We would very much like, if we, everything goes to plan, we would like Epidamnos and Pella, and then we would like to head west. But you don't always get what you want in this game, so it'll be interesting to see if we can get away with it. We have hopefully another army coming of Etruscans that should... I don't think we can build them anywhere apart from the north. Oh, we can't. So we're going to have to... We're slowly building a fourth army. That's very helpful. Oh, we can retrain you. Marvellous. And that... Should um, start its way towards Marseille. Massalia. But... We're going to have to deal with the rebels on Sicily sometime soon once we've concluded the campaign in Greece. We're having a bit of a respite at the minute. I think they're paying us some tribute. Yeah, they're paying us 550 a go. But not for long. As soon as we've got everything sorted, we shall be resuming the war. And then we're off to the silver mines of Spain. That's where we would like to be. And it very much seems like we're not going to be having um, a fully-fledged dust-up with the Carthaginians. Because Carthage has become more interested in Africa. Yes, we would very much like your trade rights, friend. Thank you very much. Would you like to tell me that you're in the Crimea? Yes, you would. Oh, they've got a little bit above it as well. That's interesting. Ah, good. That now means that Skodra should settle. So we can afford to put one of them in. Which will Romanize the province. Here's our little army that can. It's going to need another turn before he's ready. This is going to be the garrison force in Dardanicum. And hopefully we can take these down. Monthly games. Yes, we'll have monthly games. Do you give me a public order bonus? No, you don't. We want public order. That'll be that one. You can upgrade, that's good news. Masana. Spend all of our money. You still on no. You sorry. That's good news. They've decided against taking it off me. So the war with Macedon can resume. And then hopefully we will be off to Espana. Whether we get there this episode, that is going to be um, up for debate, I imagine. Because what we learnt in the Siege of Skodra in the last episode is that it takes bloody long time to winkle out people from settlements I was in a really long time they didn't even have anything useful in this in their army but it took forever so hopefully we can catch them a little bit with their trousers down and take some settlements which 
don't have a garrison. Oh, we've got the Seleucid map. So we've found the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. I'm going to go talk to Pergamon. Now what we would like... Yes, so... This army can return and let's get retraining. There we go. That gets all the horses done. We need two units of Triarii. You're going up here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's wise to just keep my money at the minute and we'll see do you no you're not going to do it and so we're not quite ready oh actually let's see if we can get no disappointing What we're going to do is hopefully move these down. And that should be enough. So Marcus Valerius Maximus is going to have to wait a turn. Uh, actually, there's some brace here. Oh, they've got. Oh, hello, hang on. The Greeks. City-states have been absolutely whomped. Piales is the... We probably would like to talk to them. Where is my diplomat? Down you come. Tremone! Non possumos! Opegnate! And that'll be a nice simple auto resolve. And hopefully we're going to Pella. Maybe we will get there this go. And then we've got to attack them this go before that reinforcing army gets there. But we have a full stack, so we're fully expecting the auto resolve to be favourable. And the question is really, can the army from Dardanicum get out into the field? We would very much like to befriend the Epirites. And we would like to talk to Pergamon. You're still retraining things, that's fine. We need something here that's going to... None of those give me any public order, but we're going to have a real problem on our hands if we don't sort Regium out. 
Hmm. Let's. Whoops. Not sure what I did there. We lost 27 men in the siege and we got 6 grand for it. That is a good take. We probably can do with getting rid of that. Put it on low. Move you down. And hopefully that's going to be oh, two seasons. We expect to be able to leave when that building's built. That's the sort of Romanization process in the province. You definitely need something for your public order. We'll take that first. Batavium. Get another port, because you can always trade with yourself. You're already upgrading, that's good. What do we end up with? 12 grand. And we need to get negotiations up and running with the Epirites now and then we should we want Pella Pella's got the mines Pella has fantastic mines and that is going to be very helpful indeed the Illyrian coast should be quite wealthy once it's built up but of course as we've demonstrated by take when we take them they're all villages oh the Indians are here Indians, of course, being the bane of my Swedish campaign on Empire. And the map is so big, we can't even see the map that we just traded with them. Because they're all the way off in the east. Funny that, that's where India is. Don't care that there's this agents everywhere. Repaired. Dalminion. Right, time for you to start your little tour of Italy to retrain yourself. That's better. Misano is waiting to upgrade. Right, would you like to be my friend? I think they would, but we've got to be a bit more friendly towards them to make them think that they want to be. Right, can you now leave the city? That's another point. Yes, you can. So to the capital. So where's my spy? We need to be able to see what's in the area. And you can go talk to the Pergamese. That's good news. No, I don't want you to have my map. I would just want to buy yours. Arcon? Away. Right. 
And we've got to put that's important. No. Pella is the target for today's episode. Hopefully that army is going to move away, but I don't I think I just missed their go. Who's our new faction leader? Mr. Pulcher. Prebune. 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 So let's move this army continuing along the tour who is the faction air now that's something that we need to work out um, it's all going rather well for this army they need two triarii that's there good news Turn you into a Roman province. Temple of Juno. Oh, let's have a port. Ad Baudon, Ad Bogoi, Branobi. He seems cross. Don't think we're ready. There we go. Can say I don't think we're ready to take Pella with just one army. We probably need to get rid of this force that's keeping us penned up a little bit. Syracuse is wobbling now. Um, Right. We might have to deal with the army outside of Dyrrachium. Oh, that's changed name as well now. They're all having their Latin names put upon them when we take over the settlements. Oh, the Armenians want to talk. Oh, Hayastan. Right. Syracuse is having a riot. That's annoying.
You can go back to Rome. And we shall retrain what needs to be done. There you go. So this army is ready. I think this army needs to be a rebel killer. Needs to have a crack at the rebels on Sicily. There's three of them there. We need to sort them out. Maybe it's best that we leave Greece alone, because I want to go to Spain. Oh, you're not going to let me do it anyway. Right, so... Let's kill this army. Um, I don't want to command you. The AI can command you. You are caught between two full banner armies. You are dead, sir. You are dead. Start deployment. Right. We, oh, we're hiding in some trees for some reason. Don't really care for that. Now someone was writing in the comments um, about I should be attacking in columns. But I'm not really sure how that works. So if you do know, um, please pop a note to me to explain what you think I should be doing. Who's the general? Is it this unit? Oh, this is the unit. So we want our own cavalry. Let's come over here. There's two units of something over here. Skirmisher cavalry and 23 units. Are they just going to the other one? Fools! What's this? Is that a tree? I thought that was a unit. Whoops. And then we'll put you on fire at will. In fact, let's just... You three can go there. You two can go after the 23. A little bit of a cavalry off. Moving, keep moving up.
turned into a glorious mess. They've lost the th just over a third of their troops. Take all of these flangites as prisoner. Keep moving. What are they fighting? Oh, they're the royal uh, hoplites of Macedon. They're bloody annoying to clear out if they're on a wall. have that isn't retreating, that's the question. Sure, what's left? Trying to take as many routing ones. I think this is basically done. They've lost nearly 800 purely to captures. There we go. We lost 32 men. Boom. The others, because they were commanded by the AI and the AI is stupid, lost a little bit more. That is a very good victory. Oh, Quintus Fabius Maximus, is that this one? So he must win significant victories. He now we did once have someone that won a triumph but he died almost right away as soon as he got his triumph Epiton Hoplon <laughs> So what we could do with now is giving Dyrrachium a governor the Macedonians aren't going to sign a peace treaty with us. We know that now. Not until we've sacked their capital city.
Right, two could... we got some governors down here. These are all of the Cotter family. Um, this gentleman here. Dipenu, mio bueno. Signa ferte! Not just yet. Oh my god, he's got an actual full stack. Right, we need to sort that out. That's what this army is going to be tasked with. We can't be allowing Sicily to be under threat. One hundred and twenty away now. It's good news. We want him to keep growing. Question is, are they going to allow us to attack Pella? Are they going to be foolish enough to move the defending armies from the site? Oh, that wasn't worth it. He had a four percent chance, he was rubbish. Ah, so they have made a move. Quintus Fabius Maximus is now headstrong and personally charging after his own triumph. Brave fool. Yeah, we need that. That's law. That's all we can really do in monetary terms. Now, what we might allow to happen is oh. it, there you go, which leaves Macedon 
really up against it now. Don't forget, we offered them a peace treaty. We gave them the chance to cease hostilities, and they did not want it. Although, Pella, we, I've said it before, we want their mines. You can see there's mines dotted all around this area. There's loads of the buggers. Take me two years. I'm very much of the opinion that that's what we should do is starve them. Probably going to have a bit of a fight to end the episode on Sicily. And try and remove one of those rebel forces that has become very much a dagger at the back. There you go, we can all put them in place. I'm imagining it's wiser to attack this army first and then worry about the two little ones afterwards. So to arms, men. To arms. Start deployment. Um, what can I do? Standard formation that we've started to get used to as the Romans. Right, and then we're just going to march straight up the hill. The general is on that side. Let's go kill him. I mean, that's a general as well. It's the, other, it's the two horse units. Marvellous. We can see the battle unfolding from this point, our vantage point on the hill. And you can go onto fire at will mode. That's one of them. He's the other one there, this other unit of skirmisher cavalry.
take these in the back. That's them gone. Good. Take them all. He's gone. It's about getting the other general now. I don't want you to die, we need you to survive. No, I'm not thinking he's going to get away with it. I right, bring them out, we're going to need another charge. Just got to kill the general, and this is this is over. There we go. And not let our general die. Where's he gone? It's up here. That's it. Many, many experienced chevrons for you. There we are. Now, because I didn't kill both of the generals, I think one's going to be able to run away. But we'll do him next episode. We'll get him out of the way very, very shortly. One. Victoria Defta!
Well, actually, can we not just do that? There we go. So we can clear out Sicily. Right, we'll have an end turn and then we'll end the episode. Productive. Productive indeed. I wonder where the armies... I think Epirus has absolutely siphoned off the strength of Macedon. They don't seem to have many forces left in the area. Well, don't try and bribe my general. That's just pointless. Good. Good. Ah, there you go. That allows us... Ah, hello, you get a, a, an auto stack. Oh, bugger. Let's just take you out. There's one. And there's another one. Sicily is cleared. And then we can take you back for some retraining. Don't really care about that. We would like a temple. Still making a profit. That's good news. He's got one hell of a name. Servius Sapicius Praetextatus Sergius S. That is mental. Why do you have such a long name? Might, might just actually be his name. And I was just thinking, I nearly got to the end of the episode without having a huge coughing fit. But, hey -o. So, we are very looking very strong in Greece now. We've just got to get Pella. We need this army to come and support the siege of Pella and then we can start talking about leaving Greece behind and just keeping what we have and spreading out into the world that's the plan so thank you very much for watching if indeed you have we will see you soon for the fall of Macedon and oh hang on they have Athens. Oh, hello. Epirus has gone all the way and got Corinth as well. Greece is just an absolute mishmash. I would really like to do um, a Spartan oh, okay. campaign. I think that looks fun. But until we see each other next time... Do take, do take care of yourselves. Bye for now.